This video is only for those people who are solos in the course. If you're a team member, don't need to watch this video at all. So as you know, during class, I often ask you to turn to your neighbor and discuss a clicker question or work together on the collaborative portion of the quiz or solve a problem or something like that. Now, Zoom, which we're going to use to conduct our courses, actually allows for this type of smaller group interaction. The only issue is I have to know in advance who's going to be in which group. You can't just form groups in the classroom at, you know, willy-nilly on the fly. And if everyone's trying to talk in the same room, that's not going to work because there's just too many people. So I need to know who to put into these smaller groups. And so I have created a tool on Moodle for that purpose. Uh, you can see it here, Zoom Groups for Solos, underneath the Remote Instruction Resources. And you see two tools, one for the 9 a.m. and one for the 10 a.m. And you can go in and sign up for a group. The reason for this is because I know that a lot of you solos are working with the same people over and over every day. And so this is a way for you to sort of let me know. Uh, if you don't sign up for a group, I'll just randomly put you in one. Now, I want to point out that these are groups, not teams. You're still a solo. You know, your peers are not going to evaluate you at the end. Uh, there's no expectation for attendance in these groups, nothing like that. They're just a requirement of the Zoom platform that we're going to be using to conduct our classes. So. I just want to make that exceptionally clear that you're still a solo, there's no expectation of attendance, no peer evaluation for you guys, just like I said, the reality of our situation requires me to put people into groups if we're going to have this type of small group discussion that we have in class. So let's say you're in the 9 a.m. class and you go to sign up for a group, so you click this. If you're in the 10 a.m., it won't let you, you have to click the right one and you'll see a list of all the groups that already exist. So I've gone and created a little dummy group called David's Awesome Zoom Group. Uh, you can name them whatever you want, and you can see that David and Sierra, RSI and one of our undergrad TAs are in this group, and I would have two options. I could either become a member of this group by clicking this button, and they would just add me to this group, or I could go and create my own new group. Uh, which I could then name whatever I want. Dr. T's bestest group and create. And you'll see that now there's a second group with just me in it. Um, and the next person who comes along could select to either be in my group or in David's awesome Zoom group. Okay, uh, you'll notice I've capped it at six because I, I think that six is probably about the maximum number that you can have successful communication. If you really, really want a group that's bigger than six, let me know and I'll adjust that. It's also set up right now that you can't leave a group. The reason for this is, like I said, I have to tell Zoom who's in what's group and doing this type of shuffling with each meeting uh, will get technically complicated on my end, so make sure you choose correctly, please. And But if you do screw up, let me know and, and I can move you around. But do try to get it right on the first try, okay? So that's how you sign up for these Zoom groups. Again, these are just for the fact that we're going to be doing class online so that I can give you some of this uh, smaller group interaction that you have in Hasbrook 20 in this virtual environment. Um, you're, like I said before, you're still a solo. There's no expectation of attendance. There's no peer evaluation. These are just because we're doing it digitally. Uh, hopefully this shows you how to sign up for Zoom groups, and I will see you in class on the Monday after spring break.